the final verdict on Litecoin. So I'm going to start this new segment where I'm just going to hit up various random coins. We're going to go through a lot of different coins. It's going to be not so many slides. It's not going to be so long. And we're going to start this ours on Litecoin. You would think I would start with Bitcoin, but we're going to start with Litecoin. So we're going to go through the history. What is the coin? The good, the bad, and the final verdict. So first off, let's go with the history. So Litecoin was established October 7, 2011. Litecoin was released via an open source client on GitHub on October 7, 2011 by Charlie Lee, a former Google employee. It was a fork of the Bitcoin core client, differing primarily by having a decreased block generation time, 2.5 minutes, an increased number of coins, and different hashing algorithms. It does script instead of SHA, TAC256, and a slightly modified GIU, or sorry, GUI. So what is Litecoin? Litecoin is a peer-to-peer -peer cryptocurrency and open source software, right? Its creation and transfer of coins is based on an open source uh, protocol and is not managed by any central authority. Well, inspired by Bitcoin and technically nearly identical, um, Litecoin has a couple of advantages and Bitcoin's actually starting to get these uh, advantages too, such as the adoption of segregated witness and lightning network. These effectively allow a greater number of transactions to be processed by the network in a given time, reducing potential bottlenecks and seen with Bitcoin, uh, sorry, as seen with Bitcoin. Litecoin has almost zero payment costs and facilities uh, facilitates payments approximately four times faster than Bitcoin. So now let's get to the good. All right, the good thing about Litecoin, I like Litecoin. It's been around obviously since 2011. The price of Litecoin, it's pretty, I don't want to say stagnant. So there are some times that Litecoin does shoot up, but it has the ability to keep you like for those that are on the day to day and go crazy. It's a stable coin. It's probably one of the few that you can say, hey, this is a pretty stable coin. And when it does go up, it goes up. When it goes down, it doesn't go down by so much. So this is one of those coins that you have in your wallet. And if you're looking at like the long term and the, the just the health of the coin, this is a cryptocurrency by all means currency. There's a lot of things out there. Um, when we're talking about tokens, we get into other stuff that they have this idea around it and their ideas are to supply a currency for a certain type of situation or for security or for an open net or for, for hosting or something or another. Litecoin is strictly a currency. You're going to use it to buy stuff with and it is almost married with Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, you know, its value is a lot greater than Litecoin, but Litecoin is also three four times what is it 80 something million so it's a uh, four times more than the or three four times more than the bitcoin has so with that being said it's a little bit less expensive and you can actually have more hold coins um it's not taken as many places as bitcoin is taken yet but it's still a really good coin uh to have so if you are going to have any kind of cryptocurrencies or you want to kind of push profits from one cryptocurrency to another litecoin is a good stable coin for that until you move that into any fiat currency that you want to move it into so that's the good about litecoin the bad about litecoin so litecoin if you are trying to invest and you're trying to um, have some kind of short-term gains um, litecoin this year is definitely um, breaking out to a certain extent but it might not be what everyone expects Everyone thinks Litecoin is going to hit $100. I mean, I might be in that pool too. But there's so many other coins. NEO just went from anti-shares to NEO and, and, and almost doubled in price. Actually doubled in price. I think it might even be tripling in price so soon. So <clears throat> there's other coins that are going to give you a value for your buck that you don't need to sit on. So Litecoin is a coin that you would convert to if you wanted to buy stuff or if you wanted to just hold uh, until you can find a better option. Um, but if you're just trying to wait for Litecoin to increase in value, you're looking at years. You're, you don't need to measure in months or days. You're looking at years for Litecoin to increase in value over time to the same level that certain coins that are like selling at 15 cent might jump up to $2 would get you. So if you're looking for some quick term investment and high profit yield, Litecoin isn't probably the coin for that, but it is a good coin. It's a great coin. It doesn't look like it's going anywhere quick. <coughs> the final verdict so the final verdict would be definitely hold hold and and buy litecoin to the point where you are having it in your wallet and it's as a security to the other investments that you are making with other coins 
So I would definitely say a, a positive hold and keep on Litecoin. In fact, you can buy because it's one of the more stable things to buy into. If you're going to buy Bitcoin and you're not, you're trying to hold on Bitcoin, that's great. And you can utilize Bitcoin in that sense. But the problem with Bitcoin is it's at 3,006 today and tomorrow it could be at 3,000 or 2,008 or it could be at 4,000. Litecoin, it might change by a couple of dollars. It might, but you're not going to see so much of a loss. If you're looking to hold the coin for a multiple number of days before making a finalized purchase with something. So Litecoin is definitely a, a nice hold and definitely a buy to utilize. You can keep it for the long run. And it's one of those coins where if you have a hundred Litecoin, right? And in your wallet, you have a thousand Litecoin in your wallet come three years from now. It's probably definitely going to increase in value. I would say probably definitely. That's pretty interesting. I will, I, I, let's take away the definite word, but it's probably going to increase in value. So this is the Litecoin website. They've been around for a while. I think everyone almost has a Litecoin wallet on their desktop. For the most part, if you're into cryptocurrencies, uh, you definitely have probably Exodus or Jackson that has Litecoin as well. Litecoin is an awesome coin. I believe firmly in Litecoin. I have Litecoin and I would definitely say hold and buy on Litecoin. I wouldn't. I don't think it'll be funny if I ever have to make a video one day where I say, sell your Litecoin, sell your Litecoin. I highly doubt that's ever going to happen. Okay, crypto guru, uh, cryptotopians out there, if you like this video and you want to see more videos about uh, different coins and the verdict on them, then throw some comments below. Take care.